And and they also know that they'll steal a lot of pro-Israel votes from, from Biden, too, because Biden is withholding aid from uh, from Israel. Yeah, so, it's all bad news for Biden. If, if RFK would get in there, it's all not, bad news. Not only that, not the, uh, these uh, Jake Tapper and Dana Bash would have to deal with shutting up two of Biden's opponents, not just one. Right. And they wouldn't be nearly as successful. I mean, yeah. believe me, those two are going to literally game plan how to completely shut Trump down and make it as, as not transparent as possible. Um, again, three friends and a stranger. I, I do not know why Trump is doing this. Well, let's go ahead. It's because he made the challenge and he feels like he has to do it at this point. But anyway, uh, Trump pollster taunts Biden, says he's scared of having Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the debate stage. Sir John McLaughlin said Wednesday that President Joe Biden doesn't want Democrat turned independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the debate stage because it will negatively impact him. There was a Harvard Harris poll, which was done by Mark Penn, who's Hillary's old pollster. McLaughlin said on the Just the News No Noise TV show, they have Trump over Biden by four. But if Kennedy was in the mix, all of a sudden we would go up by seven. I t I'll tell you the thing today with Biden issuing the debate challenge. He didn't include RFK Jr., which tells you everything you need to know. If he thought Kennedy was hurting Trump, he'd have him in, in those debates. He doesn't want him in the debate. Former President Donald Trump and Biden both agreed on Wednesday to participate in two presidential debates outside the traditional debates hosted by the Nonpartisan Commission on Presidential Debates. That's that, that's the commission I was talking about. The reason they want it out of that commission is because the commission actually decides the rules of what the, the way debate has to be. They're the ones to tell uh, the crowd uh, how many people each uh, each candidate can have into the crowd. The rest of the crowd has to be organic. And then they also tell them uh, 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 what direction they want to go when it comes to the questions. Most times the candidates don't know the questions, but they, they have a lot. Uh, they have like sections like we're going to talk about the economy here from this time to this time. Uh, the uh, foreign policy this time, this time and so on and so forth. And this right here opens up this uh, this debate completely, way more than it normally is, how it's structured. Not only that, third parties are denied in there because they have to get agreement from both candidates to get the third party in there. Gotcha. And uh, Biden is never going to give RFK Jr. the okay. I bet Trump would be perfectly fine with him up there. Kennedy said he was being purposely left out of the debates, which he claims would be between two candidates that most of the country does not want. When Kennedy files the petitions to get on the ballot in New York and these other states, Biden and the Democrats will challenge him and try to knock him off the ballot, McLaughlin said, of course. This is true. But uh, I got uh, RFK Jr. main announcement. Let me go ahead and bring it up. Yeah. Are they going to have a mute button for... Uh, Trump's microphone during the debate? I don't know. Not yet. RFK, RFK oh, go ahead. RFK Jr. announces he qualifies for a debate he has not been invited to. I'm happy to report that I will meet the criteria to participate in the CNN debate before the June 20th deadline. I look forward to holding Presidents Biden and Trump accountable for their records in Atlanta on June 27th to give Americans the debate they deserve. Yeah, I wish he was part of it. Yeah. He should, yeah. He should be. He qualifies. He's he's absolutely right. Well, I got this other article. Uh, we'll just look at the headline of it. He, hey, they, the Biden loves democracy so much. Look how democratic he is. Yeah. Report. Right. RFK Go Jr. On. Go ahead. Oh, reports. RFK Jr. surpassed ballot access expectations, likely to qualify in all 50 states. That's bad news for Bob. It's about the worst news he could have got, Matt. Yeah. Because he's a consistent couple of, couple of point draw 
to, you know, the teens point draw from Biden. I mean, depending on where you are. Yeah. He's going to take a lot of, uh, he's going to take quite a bit of votes. And that's the reason Biden don't want him up there, you know, and they're going to keep on doing the, this lawfare against uh, RFK. And, you know, the other thing is they he still doesn't have secret service protection. You know, Perot mm-hmm. had secret service protection. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what a slap in the face. Biden just loves democracy so much. He's trying to suffocate it. 